To this point, we put a big focus on reactions in which the aromatic acts as a nucleophile. It donates a pair of electrons to an electrophile. But certain types of aromatic compounds, especially those substituted with strong electron withdrawing groups like the nitro group or multiple copies thereof in many cases, can also act as electrophiles. And typically, these substrates contain a leaving group or nucleophuge connected to the aromatic ring in addition to the electron withdrawing groups. In a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction, a nucleophile substitutes for a leaving group. In that sense, this reaction is analogous to nucleophilic substitutions at tetrahedral carbon that we've seen previously. A new bond is formed between the nucleophile and one of the carbons of the aromatic ring, and the leaving group departs as its conjugate base, forming Lg-. This reaction differs from nucleophilic substitution at tetrahedral carbon in a few very important respects. First of all, the hybridization of the atom receiving the electron pair is not sp3, it's now sp2. And so an SN2 type mechanism can be ruled out, as can an SN1 type mechanism, where we'd end up with a really unstable cation right here. The name of the game in nucleophilic aromatic substitution, as we'll see, is a mechanistic paradigm called addition elimination. And actually, NAS is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to addition elimination. You'll see this reaction type in great detail in reactions of carbonyl compounds in which there is a leaving group connected to the carbonyl carbon. Those are highly analogous to the nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions we'll see here. So in a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction, essentially what happens is one nucleophile substitutes for another. Nu minus which is supplied by the reagents, often in the form of an alkali metal salt with the anionic nucleophile, substitutes for X-, minus, which is a good leaving group. This occurs through a two-step mechanism, not SN2 and not SN1. It doesn't involve a carbyl cation. In the first step, the nucleophile adds to the aromatic pi system, forming an anionic intermediate. This intermediate is also referred to as a sigma complex because a new sigma bond is formed between the nucleophile and the aromatic. But for historical reasons, they've also been called Meisenheimer complexes, as Meisenheimer studied them in detail. This intermediate is non-aromatic because we've established an sp3 hybridized carbon within the structure. And so in general, this step is heavily disfavored. The one thing that helps it along is the presence of electron withdrawing groups, what I've labeled RW, within the structure of the starting aromatic. These electron withdrawing groups help stabilize the negative charge that's introduced into this intermediate. Even so, this first step, which is an example of the ADN elementary step, is absolutely the rate determining step of nucleophilic aromatic substitution. The sigma complex intermediate has a few different resonance forms that show the delocalization of the negative charge over the now five atom pi system in this molecule. And in fact, there are likely more than just the three I've drawn here if the electron withdrawing group is positioned appropriately to share the negative charge, in other words, to aid in delocalization of the negative charge by introducing additional valid resonance forms. What these three resonance forms in particular show us is that the negative charge is predominantly located on the ortho and para positions. And so when the withdrawing group is positioned ortho or para, it's especially effective at stabilizing the negative charge. The elementary step that follows is a beta elimination step that expels the leaving group as its conjugate base, X minus. And because this step restores aromaticity in the product, it's heavily downhill and heavily favored. Given all the different types of atoms that we can incorporate using electrophilic aromatic substitution, you may wonder about the synthetic utility of nucleophilic aromatic substitution, and that depends in general on the scope of the nucleophile. What kind of anions can we use in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. The scope here tends to be fairly limited, but this reaction is great for introducing oxygen or nitrogen, which is hard to incorporate using electrophilic methods, which you'll see if you go back and look at the previous video on electrophilic aromatic substitution. So things like OH- and NH2- and even under vigorous conditions, NH3, the neutral nucleophile NH3, can be used in nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions with success. However, it is critical that the arene starting material be electron deficient. The only substrates that work in this reaction are those that contain a large number of electron withdrawing groups on the aromatic ring or extremely electron-poor heterocycles like pyridine, diazines, or triazines. 